Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. We're up against Ragar666. And we've got a beautiful hand full of pretty lands. We will keep. Thriving Grove on red will be called. And they're playing Bloodfell Cave, so maybe Reanimator. Which means the late start isn't great for us, but you know what? We're getting set up. We're pulling into some gas, and I like it. Lords and all sorts of juiciness. I think another one drop would be pretty nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go. Yeah, forced. Forced. Go Viverlant. Go striking. We'll get them down. We'll start powering out some lords. Play around the edicts just in case. Ah, uh, they may lightning bolt something. End of turn. If they have it, but it looks like they do. Boom. Goodbye, Viverlin. I wonder if this is... I, I played um, a Rakados mid-range, uh, which is very similar to what we're seeing here. So I think this is like the new Rakados mid-range deck where they just are kind of playing like mono black cards with a splash of red, basically. Splash of red for some more removal, basically, is what they're doing, but... Alright, um... Let's put out a beefy boy. Get down two lords next turn, if it survives. But they do have a lot of removal in this deck, and I mean a lot of removal. The extra splash of red really helps them. So I don't know if you want to call this mid-range or, like, Rakdos control. Um... I feel like it's more of like a Rakdos control, although the last deck I played that was doing similar, they did have a few creatures. They had Thorn of the Black Death Touch thingy, whatever. Augur of Skulls. Sacrifice a player, discards two cards, only do this during your upkeep. Hmm. That's unfortunate. And we sack a creature. That's unfortunate. Hmm, okay. We'll just drop... Oh, shoot. We messed up a little bit. I wanted to drop a sinew. Uh, we might lose these two sinews. Either way, we're going to lose something, but I can't not play something here, so... Yep. Good hit. See if they got more plays to take out our board. They uh, typically can, from what I've seen. So we, we're going to need some refill, basically. I uh, should have sacrificed muscle. All right. We're getting things back a little bit. They're down to two cards. We just need to get out of lightning bolt range. Be really safe, but it doesn't look like they have any more in their hand right now. So we shall keep going. Land is good. Good sign. Just keep drawing me into more gas. Winding way would be nice. Planes is not great. I'm going to keep it in my hand. And we're getting in there. They uh, fizzled out a little bit. I don't know what they have in their hand, but... Maybe a... Now they could play Bonders, right? The, the last deck I saw was playing Bonders Ornament. There it is. Bonders Ornament. Drew right into it. Lightning. Three damage to target player. Or Planeswalker. Uh, discards two cards. All right, so that's why I held on to the land. Make them think we have something. Um, we'll wait to play that. There's no reason to play it. We got our red fixing. We got our green. Let's we'll make them seem like we have something. Make them use their cards for no reason. We're getting there with the muscles. They keep drawing lands. Uh, what did they get here, though? Drawn a card with bonders, yep. They have so many good uh, card draws in this deck. But we keep drawing the lords. So we're putting them to five. We have lethal. Uh, they can do another bonders. Bonders thing, dig for more removal. Yep. Drew another land. And what do they got here? 
draw more. Go to three. So if they can kill something, they go to one life, but they cannot. They busted. Um, so I think I want to... Cut a hunter. Not the most important thing. I want to stay creature heavy against them. I don't know if relic is super necessary. Although. If they're playing with fire bolts. That might be worth it. Um, prismatic. Destroy target artifact. We could destroy their bonders ornament. Don't really need the reach with spinneret. I guess bladeback's better than hunter in this situation. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I just want to be creature heavy. Another great looking hand. Man is right, and we got the lead. So we will keep. Keep. Both playing our tap lands. Unless we draw planes. We do not. We're calling white. Passing. Problem is with this deck, uh, they just really get ahead if they've got that edict and you can't play like two creatures to play around it. If they can turn two edict you or turn three edict, uh, it's not pretty for us. So how do I want to run this here? I guess we'll just play out our flank. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Let's play out our flanking and pass. I don't really just want to run our lords into an edict. Willy nilly. Chittering rats isn't the worst thing in the world. All right, so let's go ahead and put down a lord, put down a plated. Start getting in for a little bit of damage. And again, they can still take stuff out here. It's a, uh, it's dangerous, especially with three mana for them. I feel like they really start popping off with that three mana, Chainer's Edict, and then just go into, you know, uh, Lightning Bolt, clear our board quite efficiently. Uh, we're getting rid of the flanking because I don't want to drop, just in case they're playing with a Fire Bolt, which they might. Uh, they had that, I think they brought in Cyborg uh, against me the last matchup I had with them. Alright. Predatory, predatorial. Let's diversify. Three fours now, everything's a little harder to kill. Mm, yeah, they're going to block and firebolt. Shoot. Should have played around that, I think. Oh, they forgot. Or they didn't have it. Or they're just staving off damage. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still like, worried about the firebolt play. So that was kind of a foolish attack. If they did have that, they could have uh, traded our lord here. That's a great sign. I think this game's a wrap. If they're tapping out to play Phyrexian Rager to draw a card at this point, that means they're just straight out of any good removal to reduce our board and then like lightning strike and that's it that's going to be the concession right there draw a card draw a card oh my gosh we're getting lit up in here i like it but that'll be the game hopefully you guys enjoyed that one it's an interesting deck i'm not sure uh whether to call it mid-range or more control i think i'm gonna go with rakdos control uh it's what it just feels like to me more or less um but yeah interesting deck i think it's got some potential better than the mono black with that special splash of red and they still have all the tools. They were bringing uh, Suffocating Fumes in on me last game. 
Uh, they still had all the, the card draw engines and that Bonder's Ornament. Bonder's Ornament is just everywhere. I don't think it's overpowered, though. I think it's fine in the meta, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, is Bonder's Ornament a problem in the meta right now? I don't feel like it is. I think it has its place. It's in a lot of decks, though, kind of like Astrolabe was, uh, but I, I don't feel it's as problematic uh, just because it's expensive to still get that card draw. Um, but it does help mana fix quite a bit. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to get to the 1K to um, hopefully maybe make an extra few bucks on the channel uh, and keep doing this. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And thank you very much. And we will see you guys in the next video.